Le Parc National de la Vanoise est The National Park La Vanoise owns many refuges for which it attempts to source power supplies that are both innovative and efficient in terms of power consumption. responsable sur le plan de la consommation. We are an isolated site. This means that we have no access. We are mostly visited by roaming hikers and we have no energy. Le seul moyen d'avoir cette énergie électrique. The only way to have this electrical power is to produce it from available energy, namely photovoltaic solar energy. We need to be lit up at night and the fridge needs to be switched on 24/7. So we have to source, use and store this energy during non-productive times. We use this long-term gas energy storage solution in the form of hydrogen. Sous forme d'hydrogène. We are on the Côte du Palais Refuge. We have a new building under construction. It is intended to receive a certain amount of equipment needed to produce and store hydrogen in order to provide energy autonomy. Photovoltaic panels produce electricity that is stored in a battery bank. This battery bank is a buffer zone which is discharged in the electrolyzer in order to produce hydrogen. This hydrogen is stored. In peak time, hydrogen is recombined with oxygen to produce electricity that is then consumed by the refuge. The hydrogen storage we have allows for a sustenance of 11 to 12 days range. Powidian Sage's hybrid system can also handle wind turbines, hydroelectric turbines or diesel generators. It can adapt itself for the needs of either an isolated site such as Refuge du Palais, or in assistance for the network, or for applications transportable in chambers for mobility. Once installed, all sorts of people can benefit from the power supplies. The keepers, as they look after the sites of course, but also the hikers, as they can enjoy the comfort that will be provided by the energy autonomy. What is also important is the ability to transfer this experience. And our aim is obviously to lead by example in order to transfer the innovation.